welcome back to Renovation Ranch. We are in a winter storm warning and it has been snowing for, I would guess 12 hours. Um, definitely the eight to 10, but um, in the last couple of hours, I think we've gotten two or three inches and it's heavy and wet. And we need to go check on one of Phil's jobs. The job that we have to go to is not in an area that is easily accessible or um, that has roads that are well maintained. So we have to put chains on and then just hope for the best because we had to get up there and check it out. This morning we um, kind of took it slow, shoveled, took the dogs out in the snow and all that. But we had our monthly YouTube meeting, which is basically getting together with some other channels that are in the area and learning and growing and just um, being in community with each other. And so that was a good time spending it with them. He really wants to go out with the boys. So it's just, I don't know, it's just another day in North Idaho trying to figure out how to balance the things that should be happening but aren't because of whatever reason. Um, supply chain issues still trickle down and affect what we do on a daily basis. And now the weather is starting to affect that. The other thing is Christmas is a couple weeks away. So that changes everything in. So that's one thing I do want to talk about is gift giving and purchasing. Um, so I'll get back to that in a little bit, but I'm gonna go out and check on the boys right now and see how they're doing with the chains. put chains on. I would start with one Growing up, I would up. just call my dad if I needed to. Um, Matthew's never put chains on, so he's learning a little bit. And the snow's not letting up at all. It's cold out here. But it's pretty. We had hoped to make it up with just the back tires chained, but now it's time to chain up all four. neighbors out even when they're not really your neighbor so here we are it's dark because sunset was at I believe 347 today so that just after five and it's still snowing we finally got home we ended up having to pull the truck out that was well no the Jeep was what was in the way to begin with he was trying to plow and then pull his truck out we made it past the Jeep, pulled the truck out, and then got out of there. So what should have taken us an hour took like three hours. And we came home and I shoveled. Even though they've already shoveled the parking lot, we now have a big pile for them to move. But what I wanted to show you, and I might have to come back 
later tonight or maybe tomorrow and talk to you about the gift giving thoughts that I have because it's that time of year, right? Here's what I want to show you. You've not cleaned off the car at all, all today, but here on the top of the car, all the way down there, look right there's a lot of snow. I mean, this is my hand. <laughs> so, I don't know, I have to get a ruler out and the shovel because I just made a mess. But it's been a day. I think we're just going to chill for the evening. And I will get to the list or the ideas that I have in my head about gift giving. And I have a podcast I want to share with you guys. But for now, I'm going to go in, eat dinner. And yeah, so I'll be back with you guys after a while. Good morning, afternoon, I don't even know what time it is. It is a good 24 hours past when I last was in the middle of a snowstorm stuck on a mountain. Um, my car has not moved or been cleaned off, it's just melting. It's melting very quickly. The snow is very heavy and wet and slushy, but I did promise you that I would come back and kind of talk about some thoughts I had on gift giving. Number one would be, it's not about you. It's not about the recognition you get. It's not about the thank you note that you're hoping to receive. It's about the person that you know or love. I guess so the biggest thing would be to listen to things that they say like that seem obsolete or whatever, because that might give you good tips on things that they might um, enjoy, like desire. Okay, tip number two don't wait until this week to be shopping i i did i am i still have a couple orders i need to put in but um they might not be here in time so shop early tip number three would be don't hold your breath on that thank you note is it a good thing to do to send a thank you note, card, email, phone call, something? Yes. I think that um, we've kind of gotten out of the age of writing thank you letters or thank you notes. Um, however, some acknowledgement from the receiver, yes. But as the gift giver, don't expect it because then that means you are putting, um, it's a gift with strings attached basically. and. Nobody wants that. That's not what gift giving is about. If you would like to hear a really great podcast on some ideas on gift giving, sort of where I got some of these um, thoughts, check out in the description below Life and Gear Podcast. They have one podcast a month and the December podcast was about gift giving. Definitely worth a listen. Maybe it won't hit you in time for this holiday season but it would be good to have that information for the following uh, birthdays and holidays, etc. So with that, I need to go meet Phil at the job to help him wrap the other section of that job up. And then hopefully this week we'll get back up to the pole barn job and see if the road is cleared. And we almost got stuck up there. I know I don't have a lot of footage of it, but so we get to up the hill with four tires chained up. We get up there and realize that this is going to be quite a feat to get the rest of the material up this hill. And then the one guy that lives beyond where we're building, um, he came home and his truck got stuck. So he went and got his plow that something happened to the transmission. So now he has two vehicles stuck on the road. We managed to get past the one and then help him pull out his truck and we could get out of there. It took like three hours, so maybe more on that later. We shall see, but for now, enjoy your week. Thanks for being here and please subscribe, like, share. Definitely go visit that podcast and we'll see you next time.